right, here's the video review for the Nendoroid Mega Man, Rock Man, actually, as the box implies, which we know over here in the States as Mega Man. Um, and he's pretty impressive. Like, I like the design of him. He's in the little kind of SD style that the Nendoroids do, but it works for Mega Man because uh, he, he kind of has those proportions anyway. Maybe a little bit more super deformed than uh, we're used to seeing him, but... Uh, but all in all, like a pretty nice little Mega Man figure. I am a big Mega Man fan. I have been since the original game came out way back when. So, uh, yeah. Now, this is, right now he's attached to his stand. He comes with a stand with a support strut here, so you can have him leaping up in the air if you want. And we'll get to some of that those poses in a minute. But he can just come off, and he does support himself fairly well, even with his giant noggin uh, by himself. He's got a little... It's not a ball joint, per se, but a joint... A neck joint, he can swivel and look up and down. Um, he's got a swivel at the shoulder, although you can see the arms are already starting to come off. Because you can swap out some of these pieces, uh, but they do like to... Which I guess is nice for swapping out. He's got an elbow swivel, wrist swivel. You can see he's got the joints here in the, uh, in the leg. And then there's no... There's, not a joint there at the foot. The, like, the hips and the and the shoulders are really the major points of articulation. Does have a waist swivel as well. Um, if you want to have bent legs, he comes with bent legs. And again, they don't bend anything. They, there's just there's a joint right here if you want to have him jumping. But the legs are one solid piece. He does come with an extra hand here. That you can plug in so he can hold an e-tank. You can, of course, pull the whole arm off and attach his Mega Buster. Yep, we can get it on there. There we go. So you can give him his Mega Buster. You see it's got the little power read out there on the side. Push it all the way on. Come on, go on. There we go. And stuff. He's got... Um, He's got different faces. You can swap out it and pop his head apart. Actually, pop his head off. You can pull his head apart. Like this. And swap out his face chunk. He's got his neutral face. He's got kind of a determined face. And he's got his Oh no, I've been shot and dying face. Let's go ahead and give him his determined face. Dun, da, da, da. We'll go ahead and just pop this back together. And plug his head back on. Now he's ready to go. Uh, again, you can swap the, uh, the legs out to give him jumping feet. And again, they can move there at the at the knee. That's actually the Mega Man X music, but so you can put him in a jumping pose. You can plug him back into the stand so he's up in the air like this. You can bring him back a little bit. He's also got some uh, bullet effects. He's got a big blast and a small like stream of. Uh, bullets and these plug onto here he's got a little you can plug these little the stand into here and you can and then pop these on the top right, come here so you can have it look like he's firing we're getting it to stay in is a little bit of a pain so, There he is jumping, shooting a string of string of beads. If you want to have the uh, the larger stand here, you can have him shooting a larger blast. That's kind of cool. And he also comes with various hand and shoulder parts. I'm not going to swap everything out uh, just for the sake of timeliness on this one. <laughs> but um, go ahead and put a straight leg back on. But he does come with uh, 
You can see some different shoulder pieces to put his arms in different positions. Uh, an open hand and a closed fist. Another closed fist. And then... Uh, those might be leg pieces there. Looks like you've got shoulder and leg pieces that you can swap out. Oh, and those are those are all, all are both arm pieces. So you can put his arms in different positions. They don't have to be straight like this. So uh, a nice little package. Um, I just got in here. I got it from Ami Ami. And uh, showed up the other day. I'll have to figure out a cool display pose for him. But uh, there it is, the Nendoroid Mega Man. Definitely got some heft to him. Nice build quality, nice paint apps. All the details are crisp. Yeah, I'm really happy with him. <laughs> Just got to figure out a cool pose to stick him in. And somewhere to put him. But yeah, there's Nendoroid Rockman. From Good Smile. I do wish I do wish there were more ball joints in him. Like I, I've I've seen pictures of Nendos before, and they look like in all these crazy poses. And I didn't realize how much of that was accomplished by part swapping and not just by joints built into the figure. But uh, but all in all, it's a nice little representation of Mega Man, and I am very happy with it.